course, we have a new installment of the Project Japan. Carbon neutrality, cutting our emissions of carbon dioxide as much as possible, is becoming a responsibility for all of us in our everyday lives. And as part of that, a shift toward renewable energy is underway. One energy source that's attracting attention is wind power. We report on how one major general contractor in Japan is working to build complex power stations to harness wind energy. Take a look. The Project Japan. Climate change is sweeping across our planet, bringing about devastating consequences for our everyday lives. Since the Industrial Revolution, the average global temperature has risen by 1.15 degrees Celsius. In the North Pole, ice caps covering an area nearly the size of Hokkaido in Japan have melted in the space of a year. While storm surges triggered by rising sea levels and massive typhoons of unprecedented scale wreak havoc around the world. Experts point to soaring greenhouse gas emissions as the primary cause. Commercial industries are also taking big steps toward realizing a carbon-free society. Major general contractor Shimizu Corporation is setting out to create a carbon-neutral future. We explore its latest initiatives. With climate change caused by greenhouse gas emissions having a big impact on our everyday lives, realizing a carbon-free society is a pressing issue. Even in the energy conversion field, which accounts for approximately 40% of domestic carbon dioxide emissions, there's a growing focus on renewable energy sources that release fewer pollutants into the atmosphere. Among the many alternatives, what's drawing especially strong interest is wind power. As its name suggests, wind power is a method of generating energy from the force of winds. Many turbines are set up in windy, mountainous areas and along the coastline buffeted by sea breezes. Japan has installed onshore wind capacity reaching 4.2 gigawatts. And with the addition of new turbines, the country is aiming to increase that figure to 23.6 gigawatts by 2030. It's estimated that the electricity generated will be enough to power 12 million households a year. Standing 70 kilometers north of Morioka City, Iwate Prefecture, is Mount Oritsumedake, which seemingly splits the coast from the land. Constructed along its ridge line is the JRE Oritsumedake South One Wind Farm. It's one of the largest onshore wind farms in Japan, delivering a total output 46.8 megawatts from 13 3.6 megawatt turbines. The construction of this wind farm was entrusted to Shimizu Corporation, which specializes in structural engineering and analysis adapted to local topography. Starting with the Minami Ehime Wind Farm, they've overseen the construction of numerous wind farms in difficult terrain from mountainous to coastal regions. 
In 2022, Shimizu held a 20% market share of wind farms in Japan. Behind the company's strong track record is a project delivery method called EPC, under which it oversees an entire project, from engineering to procurement and construction. えっと、清水建設ももちろんゼネコンですので建築土木で我々いるエンジニアリングありますので特に風車の現場に関しては風車建て方あと電気関係に関しては我々エンジニアリングをやりますけれども風車の基礎だとかに関しては土木の方がプロになりますので我々エンジニアリングの部分得意分野と土木の得意分野そちらの辺を一体化してオール清水でですね風車の現場を取り組んでいくというのが清水建設の強みになるかと思います。In constructing the Oritsumedake wind farm, the company faced various challenges. To Kujiko, the Rokjukino, the Hanata Tokoro Arimas, the Momo, the Chano Hokara, the Fushan of the Chibana, the Bojo Meta, the Brezo Motekur side, the Dansa Garo Tokoro, the Jizeni, the Kakun State, the Dokoni, the Yusso, the Sharing, the Tolka, the Kaka State, the Data Yoru Juji Kara Hakon, the Kite, Asano Yoji Grama. サイト持ってくるという形になりますので、えー、そこら辺が一つ大変かなとあります。They also say their environment friendly measures won the recognition of the local community. 今回のこのプロジェクトで言いますと、えー、風車建てる場所のそばにですね、あの気象昆虫のあのヒメボタルが生息している地域がありますので、そこから離れた場所に風車を立てなきゃいけないという制約がまず一つあります。それと風車立て終わった後の出来上がりですね、そっちの見栄えの景観的な制約もありますので、調整しながらレイアウトを決めたというような形の制約が一つありました。In constructing wind farms, it's essential to take into consideration the local environment and the demands of local residents. And in recent years, there's been a shift in the construction of such facilities, from onshore to offshore. まあ日本国内風力発電の陸上風力発電の適地はおおよそ開発されてしまったので。やはりより大きな発電量が見込める洋上風力への展開っていうのが進んできているというところですね。遮るものがないですから、風の状態が非常に良いということですね。ロスが少なく発電ができるというところだと思います。Plans are underway to construct numerous offshore wind farms along the Japanese coastline. 日本のあの国土面積ですねあの世界で見ると61位なんですが排他的経済水域を入れると第6位になりますので将来的に、えー、と日本の経済を支えるということを考えますとエネルギーを支えるというのがあの洋上風力の開発を欠かせないというふうに思っています。And essential for the construction of such wind farms are self-elevating platform vessels to carry turbine blades and supporting structures from ports to offshore sites. A primary feature of these vessels are four legs that jack up the hull, allowing them to withstand high waves and to perform construction work under stable conditions. 一般的な船だとすると波が1メートル超えると仕事ができなくなるんですがそれだと大きな風車を立てるというのはすごい時間がかかるとでそれを短縮するために風車のブレードタワーナセルたくさん持っていけば速くなるそうすると大きな大きな積船をないと実は効率よく洋上で仕事することはできない。一番のえー、とキーとなるのはあの大きな製品大型製品。シミズ has completed construction of the world's largest class C vessel, Blue Wind, at a cost of nearly 400 million dollars. A key feature is its large size, measuring 50 meters wide and 142 meters long. It can carry equipment and parts necessary to construct seven 8 megawatt turbines. Which are currently standard at many European wind farms, or three larger 12 megawatt turbines all at once. 世界中で実際に風車を立てている同型船
というところのまあクレーンのサイズがどんなに大きくても1600トン本船ブルーウィンドは2500トンまで増強してまあ今後の大型風車に対応していこうと次世代型のまあ世界最大級といえる能力を持った船になっております。They say another advantage is that it's Japan's first self propelled vessel of its kind, allowing it to sail to destinations without a chartered tugboat. 自走できないと、そのままブレードとナセルとタワーとかですね、それを次のサイドに行くということが非常に時間かかるし、しかも引っ張るための船の大破性能というのは一般的に低いですので、そうすると次のサイドに行けないと。あの自走式というのは効率を上げるには絶対に不可欠です。So why was a SEP vessel necessary for a construction company?One reason they cite is the difficulty in procuring such vessels from Europe.Amid rising global demand, SEP vessels are in short supply. Added to that is the time needed to transfer a ship's flag and to transport a vessel to Japan. And aside from the high leasing fees, another reason is the costs associated with being unable to operate a ship because of weather conditions and retaining workers during that time. This 国内市場で大きなシェアを確保しなきゃいけないということになるんですけど、まあ、それだけの,あのことが達成できるそういう能力を持った船だとは思っています。In November of 2022, training towards the launch of Blue Wind was started.At this time, various tests are being carried out by engineers and crew. Including jacking the hull up and down and operating the crane, which will continue for about a month. In particular, to operate what is among the largest class cranes in the world, they developed a new simulator. Utilizing the newly implemented system, crew members are being trained to handle various situations that may occur. And in March 2023, A project will commence offshore in Nuzen in Toyama Prefecture. まあ最初はまあバタバタするんでしょうがという部分もあの多少覚悟はしておりますが、まあ一つでもまあ少しでもあのまあ風車立てることに貢献していければなと思っております。Blue Wind, the world's largest class SEP vessel, is about to set sail. と2040年あの。欧州の目標は 40% の風,風力を賄うと全体的に国の規模とその可能性から言うと日本は実はヨーロッパとほとんど変わらないというのはあの我々の認識なんですだからヨーロッパできることを日本もできるというふうに信じています。SEP vessels promise to play a vital role in our clean energy future propelled by a strong tailwind They are embarking on a quest toward a more sustainable society.